Queensland adventure has begun. We start the week in Camerweel before heading across to Mount Isa and spending a few days there. We then continue further east to Julia Creek before heading north up to Mount Surprise and visiting Cobbled Gorge. Hey guys, welcome to a new episode. So here we are in sunny Queensland. Woohoo! Uh, we had a long drive yesterday through NT uh, and we crossed the border late last night and uh, found this little free campsite just outside Camerweel, which is a really cool little spot. Um, so yeah, as I said, we came here last night. It was dark when we arrived, so we didn't do any filming. Um, but we managed to find a really nice little spot across the Billabong. Um, sorry, there's a few flies here at the moment. Um, but yeah, we're just in a little town called Camerweel and our setup's here, a uh, lovely little spot right by the banks of this billabong here. Look at that. Yeah, so we're really lucky to come so late at night. There was a few people here, um, like when we got here, there had to have been maybe, you know, a dozen or so people around. Um, but this morning when we woke up, they'd all left. So that was a bit strange. So we're actually the only ones here at the moment, which is quite good. Um, but yeah, this place is, to say it's free, you'd pay for this in a lot of other spots. So um, yeah, such a magnificent little spot. And there's so much bird life and you can see in the billabong, there's all these water lilies and there's about 150 pelicans or so down there. I'll just show you. I don't know if you can see them down there. But this is the billabong there. And obviously our caravan just behind us there. So um, yeah, it's a really, really peaceful little spot. So uh, I think the plan today is um, we got up this morning. We're just having a bit of breakfast now. I think we might head to Mount Isa this morning. It's about a two hour drive uh, east of here. Uh, and it is very, very hot here at the moment. So today we're pushing 40 degrees and Mount Isa is even hotter than that. So it is really hot. Uh, and obviously on the free camp, we don't have any air conditioning, so that's always a struggle. So I think we might head to Mount Isa today and uh, get a powered site just to get that air conditioner going. Um, just a little bit too hot for us here at the moment, especially Archie. Archie's really struggling in the heat with his big black fur coat. So I think that will be the plan today. And we've got a lot of things planned this week. Um, I'm really excited. We don't really know what to expect either, this outback Queensland. So it's really rugged territory. So we're kind of looking forward to, to seeing what's out there. Um, but we do have a few really cool things planned. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining us again, guys. And uh, yeah, let's go check out what outback Queensland has to offer. It's a lovely day here in Mount Isa. It's hot. Yeah, it is hot. I think it's getting to 40 today. Mm. So yeah. I took Archie for a bit of a walk around the caravan park first thing this morning. It's probably about seven. And now we thought we would check out the dog park. Yeah, well, it's been, a, it's been ages since we've seen grass, to be honest. Yeah. Um, some good grass. We saw a little bit in Alice, but uh, mm. yeah, here there's like ovals and ovals of grass. So it's the first time in a while. So Archie's really happy. He loves rolling around in the grass. Yeah. Yeah, we felt we felt a bit sorry for him recently yeah. that we've he's just had a few walks on dirt. Yeah, so. we have to keep him in the caravan quite a bit as well because of the heat. Yeah. Um, so it's just nice and cool in the caravan for him. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we'll stretch his legs this morning. Yeah. yeah where is he? Yeah, he is. yeah, it's about it's about eleven a.m. Mm. and um, yeah, this afternoon's really going to heat up. So I think this afternoon will be quite a caravan sort of afternoon, won't it? Yeah, we've got a few things to do. We'll check out the visitor centre, see if there's yeah. anything around that's uh, cheap and worth doing. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a few th there's a few really interesting things that I'd like to do, but it's kind of more of the same of what we've already done. Mm. So we'll probably. Uh, give those a miss and try and search for some new different things yeah, uh, that we haven't done yet. Because budget wise, we do have to pick and choose. We'd, yeah. we'd love to have the budget to do every single thing we fancied doing, but yeah. uh, that's not reality. No, so we've picked a few things coming up, which will be really cool. I'm really looking mm -hmm. forward to, which you'll see shortly. Um, but yeah, for Mount Isa, there's, it's a real mining town, isn't it? Yeah. So there's not a huge amount to do here. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's got its own little charm. Still. Yeah, no, definitely. Mm. Um, I did a bit of shopping yesterday afternoon and it's got quite a nice 
town centre and yeah. uh, I quite like the caravan park. It's again it's it's fairly basic mm. um, but for thirty dollars a night it's can't go wrong. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Cool, so I think we might stretch Archie's legs and then yeah, maybe go. head to the visitor centre. Yeah, let's go play for a bit. Cool. So we've just decided to come up and have a look at the uh, Mount Isa lookout and it's, uh, yeah, it's really, really impressive. The mine here at the edge of town is just mind blowing. It's just massive. I don't know if you can see it here. Just there, all of that. Yeah, it's huge. And they've got this cool little sign here as well, which I thought was pretty neat. Let's, I'll come around and show you here. Yeah, so fantastic views over Mount Isa. Uh, it's really impressive. It's kind of like surrounded by uh, mountains and hills and stuff. So yeah, neat little town, really cool. Shame there's just a, not a little bit more going on, like a free museum or something like that. Everything's really expensive here. So I think we're just gonna try and do a few th free things and maybe see if we can find a cheap tour to do as well. But um, Mount Isa is also really well known for the rodeos, so um, unfortunately, there's no rodeos in town at the moment, which is a real shame, but we are in October now, so we're kind of at the end of the season. Not too many tourists around, but yeah, if we, we would have loved to do that while we're in town, but never mind, maybe we'll come back next time. What's the furthest city away, Hannah? Can you find it up yeah, here? Rio is the furthest. What is it? 19,500 wow. kilometers. 19,500 kilometers in this direction. That there's way. Also, there's also the North Pole, but it doesn't say how far the North Pole is. Oh yeah, that's a bit strange, isn't it? Doesn't say that for the North or South Poles. Yeah, cool little stop, isn't it? Yeah. We've just popped about 20 minutes drive out of Mount Isa, north. Um, it's not too far from our caravan park, actually. We've just dropped Archie off briefly because we're here at Lake Mundara and unfortunately, it's no dogs. Um, it's an artificial lake here and there's a dam just behind us, which we're going to check out. We've just driven up here to the lookout and um, yeah, it's, it's pretty spectacular. It's a real shame dogs aren't allowed because there's some lovely park grass area that had Archie been allowed, we'd have uh, hung out here for a few hours. It's beautiful. We've just come down the stairs from the lookout and you can actually walk across the dam here. Um, it's, uh, it's really hot and just the sheer amount of sort of concrete and it's really uh, reflecting the heat back. Lots of fish down there. Yeah, let's have a look. Oh yeah, you can just see them. Well, this spot's a little bit different. We've come about an hour east of Mount Isa to Mary Kathleen. Yeah, there's an open cut uh, uranium mine here, which we we're gonna check out. Yeah. 
We're not allowed to stay here too long because it's still quite uh, a lot of radiation in the area. So it'll just be a pop in, check it out, have a look around and uh, and head off, I reckon. Yeah, so apparently there's a beautiful b blue pool at the bottom of what was the uranium mine. Mm. And there used to be a town here. Um, which got demolished. I think the last person left in, I think it was 1984. Yeah. And all of the buildings got moved to either Mount Isa or Cloncurry. Clon Cloncurry, yes. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, so we're going to go check it out. Yeah, there's actually a free camp here as well in town, which has actually got amazing reviews on Wiki Camps. And we were going to stay there, but uh, we decided with the temperature out here at the moment, it's getting 40, yeah. 41 degrees. Uh, it'd just be better if we just pop in from Mount Isa and stay one more night there. Yeah, yeah, because we've got we've got power and the yeah. aircon going and and out here in the sun, there's no clouds, there's very little shade. It's really, really yeah. full on, yeah. really hot. Archie gets too hot. We mm. get grumpy. So yeah. it's best for everybody concerned if we just stay powered. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, let's check out Mary Kathleen. Okay, let's do it. Potential for a mine was discovered back in 1954, where there were a couple of pros prospectors from Mount Isa, and their car broke down around here. There was a loose, a loose lead. So while one of them was fixing it, the other got the Geiger counter out and just started sussing out the area and found that there was um, sort of the Geiger counter went crazy, and they found there was the real potential for um, finding some big uranium deposits. So we've just come into the Mary Kathleen Township now, and it's so much bigger than I expected. They, it was a proper town here, and it was built in less than a year. There were 222 residential dwellings here, and they were building them at the rate of one a day, which is incredible. And then here in the town square, they also had two banks, they had a bakery, a post office, cafeteria, um, they'd got a pool, an oval, a golf club, so it was a really established town. And, um, and so when the mine was op in operation, in fact, the town was finished or was built before the mine started, because obviously the miners needed somewhere to live. So really interesting, and they invested so much in, in just creating this real community around, around the mine. Uh, having a look around Mary Kathleen and we found the swimming pool. Yeah. Oh, it's filled in. So there's no pool anymore. Wow, just wow. So we've just parked up here at Mary Kathleen Mine. Chris is staying in the car with Archie and we're just going to tag team um, because the car's nice and cool with the aircon and it is hot out here. I've got my Factor 50 sun cream on mum, so don't worry. Um, so yeah, come up here and it's just stunning. The, the rocks here, because they're, they're so high in different minerals, um, you know, the orange and white and grey, just so colourful. And even just the shape, you know, the way that they've been mined, it just looks spectacular. And that's before I even talk about the incredibly blue water at the bottom of it. It just looks, especially when the temperature's like this, it looks so appealing. Just want to jump right in. Unfortunately, the water is radioactive. So if you want to live a long and healthy life, it's advised against swimming in this water.
We're staying here at Julia Creek Caravan Park, um, mainly for one reason, and that is that they have some special baths here. Yeah, you might be able to see them in the background. So we've opted to do a sunset bath. So mm -hmm. we've got a couple of baths there. We've brought our own snacks, a couple of beers. We'll throw a towel. Got our towels ready. So we're just going to go and chill out this evening, I reckon, and yep. watch, watch the sunset from a couple of baths. It's going to be awesome. Yep. I don't think I've had a proper bath since we left home. Or a shower. <laughs> no, <laughs> There'd be no. lots of showers, lots of water holes, yes. but not an actual bath. It's tricky here because it's so freaking hot I know. that the cold water is not cold, it's actually yeah. boiling hot. So yeah. All the time, you know, yeah. even if you like run it, it never runs cold. Yeah, so we actually haven't put our hot water system on and Hannah had the hottest cold shower <laughs> yeah. of her life. I had a hot cold shower today. Yeah, so yeah, really odd. <laughs> it's really, <laughs> and it's still hot now, it's about 39. Yeah, um, so, so Arch, Archie's in the caravan, we've got the air conditioning on, he's just had an ice treat, which is, we basically put treats in ice cubes and then give him those. Cools him down a bit. cool down, um, yeah. we've left an ice block on the bed, on his bed, yep. so he's, he's fine. Yeah, he'll be um, fine, he'll be all right for an hour or two. Yeah, and the, the air con's set at like 23 degrees, so yep. he'll, he'll be comfortable, he'll probably be cooler than us, so yeah, yeah, exactly. but I'm looking forward to getting in the water. I know, more importantly, let's go uh, run these baths yeah. and see what this is all about, huh? beer. Oh, can't wait. Like the finest one, your love keeps getting better with the passing time. Tastes sweeter on my lips. Countless days roll by It can make a man grow bitter But you've made this man better After all these years So we've come out to Cobble Gorge today. Uh, it's about a two and a half hour drive from Mount Surprise. And there's a couple of reasons why we stayed at Mount Surprise. The, uh, we were gonna stay at Forsyth, but unfortunately they close on the 31st of October. So we're unable to stay there. That would have meant it was only about an hour, maybe an hour and a half drive to get out to Cobble Gorge. Um, so instead we had to stay at Mount Surprise, which yeah, meant a long drive but at least we didn't have to tow our caravan down here. So we could have made it to Cobble Gorge. Uh, the road in is, it's a little rough. It's, it's not terrible, but in places it's just really, really pretty poor. Um, just really inconsistent, that's the issue. So we didn't really want to tow our caravan all the way here. We were, prob we were recommended not to anyway. So we decided instead, look, we'll just stop at Mount Surprise. We'll stay there for a couple of days, uh, less driving with the caravan and come in here with the car. So that's what we've done. And today we're at Cobalt Gorge and uh, you know, first things first, look at this pool. It is amazing. Oh, I did bring my swimmers when, and I'll tell you why in a second, but this pool looks absolutely incredible. See if we can go for a swim in there a little bit later. But the reason why we came out to Cobalt Gorge is to do the gorge tour, of course. We wanna check out the gorge uh, and we thought we'd do things a little bit differently. So you can get a boat out there and there's a, there's a really cool sky uh, glass walkway as well, which we wanted to do. I'm not sure we'll be able to do that because instead we've opted to do the stand up paddle boarding uh, tour into the gorge. Um, so it's pretty reasonable, 54 bucks each. Uh, you get a little bit of tuition at the start because I've never done stand up paddle boarding before. I think Hannah has before, I've never done it. Um, so hopefully I don't fall in, but yeah, a little bit of tuition at the start and then it's about an hour guided uh, tour into the gorge. So it should be really cool. And what Cobalt Gorge is famous for is that it's such a narrow gorge. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. The pictures we've seen look incredible. So it should be a really cool little tour. So I think uh, we're a little bit early, so we left ourselves a little bit of time not knowing what the road condition was like. Um, 
but so I think we might just grab a little snack to eat uh, and then um, yeah and then get on the gorge tour and head in so let's see uh, let's see where Hannah is and we'll we'll get moving Yeah, you're, you're way ahead. So that's the glass bridge up there. That's cool. Oh, wow. How was it? What's that? How was it? Oh, I'm talking to the GoPro. <laughs> yeah, that was so much fun. Well, it's time to say goodbye for another week. We're now well and truly in Queensland and we've had a great time here in Outback Queensland since crossing the border over at Camerwheel. It's been great fun. And it's also been great to see what's off the beaten track. We've obviously done the East Coast before, so it's really nice to come inland and just see some different stuff. Um, you know, gorges and the scenery is incredible. Um, so we're here at Mount Surprise. We're just packing up and about to leave. Uh, we've been staying at Planet Earth Adventures, which has been a great little spot. I mean, there's there's not a whole lot to Mount Surprise, but it's it's been a lovely couple of nights stay. And then um, the owner really kindly looked after Archie with the donation to the Flying Doctors uh, yesterday while we went to Cobble Gorge, which kind of saved us a bit because we were struggling to find someone to look after Archie while we did that and um, so yeah so we, we're packing up now thanks again for joining us don't forget to subscribe like comment uh, we love to have you on this journey with us and see you next week